Uh, hello guys, welcome once again to One Coin Only. I am your host, One Coin, and I better shut this window because my neighbours can hear me and they're probably trying to sleep. Sorry. There we go. Gonna shut that now. That should be a bit better. I better put the aircon now too. Man, I should have freaking organised myself before the fucking stream. Here we go. There we go. That's gonna be. That's good enough. Oh boy. There we go, here's your unprofessional host again guys, thank you so much for coming in, we are streaming live on both Facebook and YouTube. Uh, just doing a little Super Castlevania today with a bonus game at the end, going to be here for a couple hours, and uh, then I'm going to get my ass to bed while you prepare for the day. So thank you for coming in for breakfast, we are on Facebook and YouTube, uh, going to say hello to everyone in the room. Over on Facebook we've got Giancarlo, Lamont, Zach, uh, Ryan, Susan, Brett, we've got Nick, Cat. appreciate you guys coming in, thank you so much. And uh, we got Jeremy there too. I will no time like the beginning. We're going to get started. And uh, here we go. We've got our little game of Rooney here. Let's see how we go. Hopefully we can smash this pretty easily today, huh? We're doing the new color hack, which I've done a couple times. Uh, just gives it basically a fresh coat of paint. It's pretty nice to look at. I hope you enjoyed today. I've never understood why we have to enter our name in because there's no high score any anywhere where the name's actually used in this game. It just seems really pointless. That's just me. What do I know? Hey, going Taylor. Good to see you. We got Mike, Clarence. Good to see you guys. We got Barb, Brett. Thank you for hanging out, guys. I think you'd probably notice a few differences here already. Good morning, Jan. We got Mike. Aloha. How you going, Matthew? Good to see you. Well, I'm on dropping on man. I can hardly keep up, man. You, I can't believe how many people are awake already. Oh my goodness, good morning. Alright, oh, here we go. What are we going to do for you? This is for you, Lamont. Good morning to you, my friend. Lauren's in here. Thank you so much, Lamont. Dropping it like it's hot. First stars of the day. Thank you, my brother. What's everyone got planned for their day? How's how's the outlook, guys? To tell, tell Uncle Rick what the news is. I shouldn't say Uncle Rick. That's actually kind of creepy, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, hey, going there, Brandon. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Yes, we have a we have a ruder phrase, just, which, which is pretty similar in Australia, which I'm not going to repeat. You've probably got an idea what it is. <laughs> and um, Taylor says you're going to keep the star streak going. And uh, how many weeks are you? Yeah, man. Fuck yeah, man. This is for you, Taylor. Thank you so much for the hundred stars. Hey, going there, Chris. Good to see you. Thank you so much, Taylor. I really appreciate that, my friend. Jan says, today you're working and hopefully getting some more items listed on eBay and keep that grind. Yeah, man. Every day I'm hustling, hustling. That's what's up. And then Matthew says he's been working out the last two hours. It's almost bikini season. Well, yes. I mean, when this My Sharona is all over and done with, I do want to go overseas for a vacation. So it might be time for me to work, on, work off my dad bod as well. It's probably a really good idea. Hey, how you going there, Joey? Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. I'm doing pretty good, thank you, man. And, uh... Killer clowns from outer space. Wait, where? I don't see none. What am I missing here? We don't even need that. Hey, going, Isaiah. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I, well, I didn't want to say it, Oliver, but Oliver said it for me. Something about a wakey-wakey and a snakey. We'll just leave it there. <laughs> Gosh, we're all we're all thirty we're all thirty something going on about five, aren't we? Oh goodness! As I said, guys, it's about eleven p.m. here. After this stream, I'm going to head to bed. I I've got uh, tomorrow's stream lined up already for a change. So uh, before I came on, I was actually grinding some Diablo. So as long as my uh, tomorrow's stream doesn't go too long, I may end up doing Diablo. Uh, for you guys tomorrow. Otherwise, definitely on the weekend. But I do, I do have another Diablo session planned. Kid Jackson dropping another hundred stars. Good morning, Kid Jackson. Thank you for coming in. Going out to you. How'd you sleep? That's one guy I think that never sleeps, man. I hope you actually got some rest, my friend. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jacko. I appreciate that. 
Did I try some of our low carb? I haven't. Oh, you know, hang on. Um, I, I have. I mean, I've been cutting. I've been not been eating a lot less garbage. Like I've replaced candy with nuts, and, and I'm talking about for the most part the non-salted kind. Um, what else have I done? I haven't done the celery trick yet, and I haven't done the cream cheese trick yet. But I'm, I'm looking into it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna replace the energy drinks with tea once I've drunk my last energy drink. So I, I've got a few things about to happen. Hey, gone Enrique. Good to see you. Yeah, man. I'm gonna do more dive. I told you guys. The the prep work is just pretty hard on these RPGs. But you don't, you guys just like hurry up, and I'm like, well, no, it doesn't work that way. Hey, gone Jeffrey. Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. I love this game. This 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 is on my monthly rotation. You guys already know this. This is not one of those games that's been as hacked as much as Mario, but there's a few different versions of this. Oh, Joey says he turned 40 today. I'm sorry, Joey. Happy birthday, my friend. Joey, this one's going out to you, my friend. Hope you had a great celebration. Hey, going, Dustin. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Happy birthday, Joey. You can still buy Diablo now it, uh, digitally if you go on a website called dog.com. It's, it's great for old games. I highly recommend it. Oh my goodness. So Fred says he's going to do Ocarina of Time Randomizer. Guys, I am doing my best to read all the comments. Everything is going freaking ham sandwich here today. Another Aussie phrase. Speaking of which, what can I make the Aussie phrase of the day? What's, what's the Aussie phrase of the day? Uh, she's a cracker. There you go. She's a cracker. If someone says she's a cracker, it means she's unbelievable. She's awesome. So if Ozzy says, oh, that was a cracker of a game, that means it's an unbelievably awesome game. So basically, cracker in Australia means awesome. Oh, we're playing Castlevania 4 today. She's a cracker of a game, which means she's an unbelievably awesome game. So there you go. Aussie word of the day, cracker. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I thought you might like that one. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to come up with new words for you guys. I'm trying my hardest here. I'm trying to entertain you all. <laughs> oh, thank you, Brett. I appreciate that. Hey, you going, Truman? Good to see you today, my brother. Thank you for Huckity. Thank you very much for coming in. And Dustin says a big happy birthday from Facebook. A lot of people are saying happy birthday to you, Joey. Wishing you nothing but the best. Huckity! Fuck! There you go, you have to reload it. Oh, dude, I went all the way back down here. Oh, that's... Oh, that's what's happening, huh, man? This is really... Oh. That's what happens when you don't save. You get copy. Are we going the right way, even? Oh, I don't know. All right, we have to try this again. Yeah, man, those freaking Medusa heads will be the death of me, my friend. That's okay. And Brandon says, thank you for streaming, Ricky. My pleasure. And Brandon also says a big happy birthday to Joey. we got Big J in here. Good to see you, my man. Thank you for coming in. And uh, Brandon, I want to thank you again for the 100 stars, sir. Thank you so much, Brandon. The Aussie word of the day is cracker. And cracker means awesome. So to use it in a sentence... I'll be like, oh, I played that Castlevania 4 today and she was a cracker of a game. That means she was a bloody awesome game. So, cracker kind of means awesome, outstanding, pretty sweet, true blue, all that kind of stuff. Cracker, Aussie word of the day, you're welcome. Ah, uh, ha ha. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try this again. We'll get out of here this time. I'll make sure I won't screw up again. How you going, Stephen? Good morning to you too, bro. Thank you for coming in. Where's Matt? He missed it. Oh, he's sleeping. Don't forget, Matt lives on the, the West Coast. So so Matt will be sleeping, dreaming of, I don't know, his favorite NBA players, I guess. You know, man, I don't know anyone that loves NBA as much as that guy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are you looking up Aussie slang the other day, Matthew says? You saw Budgie Smugglers is probably your favorite. Okay, I'm going to make Budgie Smugglers tomorrow's word. Remind me to make Budgie Smugglers tomorrow's word. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is, that is a pretty... Ah, I love it. That, that is a good one. Oh gosh, don't forget to like the stream, please, everyone. It helps us tremendously. 
No, no, I, I know, I, yes, I, I'm, I'm totally aware of what the other meanings of that word is, which doesn't need to be mentioned on stream. The, pro the problem is people will say that word to me and I won't know what context they mean it in. <laughs> anyway, we're going to move on from this. And, uh, ah, oh, damn it, I didn't mean to get that noise. That's okay, we can get the boomerang from the next level, I think. But, yeah. Bug Bugly's all dick tongs. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh. Yes, put... Oh, dude. From the pit of your stomach, Giancarlo says you really can't stand those. No, they, they, they ship me to tears too, bro. I, I can't really handle them all that numb much either. Fortunately for us, we're almost out of this level. So, did I see the Ed 209 as part of Robocop Fatality? I did not. I haven't seen the Fatality yet, to be honest. Uh, Payron, Payron, thank you for dropping another 100 stars. This one's gone out to you. I'll have to go back and check it out. Bloody is another word we don't use in the context you do. Oh, don't make me repeat some of these comments, Joseph. You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> you get me in trouble. Oh, dude, come on. All right, we got him. Is that it? That was close, man. Look how much health I got left. That fatality is dope. Hey, go on, Mario. Good to see you. Como estas? Thank you for hanging out. <clears throat> Uh, so what else is happening, guys? I'm going to change the subject quickly before we escalate out of control with all these naughty words. It's not one coin after dark, guys. We've got women and children in here that are eating their fruity pebbles, and little Timmy doesn't need to be going to his mum first thing in the morning and be like, Mom, what's a budgie smuggler? Well, I mean, that's not really that rude, but you get the point. <laughs> plug, plug, share the stream, yo! Big shout out to our, our Filipinos in the house. Always good to have you. No, it's not one coin after dark yet. That's well, I mean it is if you live in Australia, but come on, let's let's just call a spade a spade here. Australia makes up about five percent of the one coin only audience. So uh yeah. <laughs> More staying home for you, but watching one coin is yeah, absolutely man. I mean you gotta take advantage of the downtime while you can, huh? And then JK Software says it's always after dark somewhere in the world. But you know what, man? That is very true. I have a feeling this playthrough is going to be absolutely terrible today. Not trying to be a pessimist or anything. But uh, I kind of played this game really, really tired today on purpose. Because I know you guys like the fuckities first thing in the morning. And uh, I can assure you, you're going to get plenty of them by level 4. So uh, you're welcome. All, all free part of the service. Can we do anything? No, I'm not going to go that way. Oh, wait, oh, wait, maybe we are supposed to go that way. I don't freaking know. Uh, Boyz Diaz, how you going there, one? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. How, how's, uh, how's, how's sunny uh, New Jersey today, my friend? I'll go back over here. And uh, you said Australia has some good TV shows like Blue Water High and Wicked Science. I mean, we do have some good TV over here. I find that most Americans don't like Australian TV, but the British freaking love our television, huh? I think more people from Britain watch Neighbours than what Australians actually do. If we've got any English people here, just to let you know. One says, Jersey today is nice and sunny and cold. Man, I, I, I hear you guys are having unseasonably cold weather at the moment still. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Trying to get that sunbish, there we go. Too many zombies, mate. Alright, here we are. I'm gonna do another saver rooney here. Steven says where he's at, it's supposed to be 84. What state do you live in again, Steve? Just refresh my memory. So many, so you, you gotta forgive me, guys. There's so many states to freaking keep track of in the United States. We only have to worry about six or seven of the bloody things over here. Oh my goodness. I think, what, what have we got in Australia? Six states and a territory, I think. What have we got? We got Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia, Western Australia, Northern Territory, 
and Tasmania. So that's seven states. Then we've got the ACD, which is the Australian's capital territory, inside of bloody New South Wales. There you go. So technically eight states, I guess. Well, you guys have to worry about 50 of the fuckers, mate. What the hell? <laughs> There you go, Blue Thunder Gaming. Thank you for coming in. Blue Thunder says you enjoy watching me play Castlevania. It's, it's been up and down here in I hype. Fuck a day! Fuck! Excuse me, I'm trying to read comments and this is what happens. Oh my goodness, here to blame you, some bitches. Alright, hopefully we'll get some help out of them, yeah? Oh, dude, I can't fucking. Becky, can you handle this? Beyonce, can you handle this? One coin, can you handle this? Sorry, I'm sure there'll be a health over here somewhere. I have a funny feeling she's gonna be down on this one, ain't she a beaut? There we go, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> oh, goodness. I know, there's a few faculties going around already. Man, I told you, I wasn't wasting any time today. You guys didn't want to believe me. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna save here again. Oh my gosh! hate birds in video games. Bird is not the word. I hear, I hear Mike Tyson's going to be in the next AEW pay-per-view. I wonder what his role's going to be in that. I don't know what his role's going to be at the pay-per-view, but I tell you what, if Mike Tyson's fully going into the mainstream again, I'm very excited to see him box. Like, Man, have you seen his training videos so far? I saw Mike Tyson's uh, training videos. And then I saw, like, Evander Holyfield try and come back with a training video of his own. And no disrespect to Evander Holyfield, but Tyson's fighting like a 30-something, and Evander Holyfield looks his age. I think if those two went in the ring right now, Mike Tyson would annihilate him. Like, he really would eat him and his children, like he said in the 90s. Remember when Tyson said that? I think that would really happen this time. Anyway, that's probably not appropriate. But, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get a point across. <laughs> Okay, we got this bish. Now, guys, we just got a quick notification. Let me read this out. Um, see, so we always get that little chime uh, for new supporters, but it, uh, it doesn't always tell me who it is. You'll have to let me know if you've just resupported. Yeah, Tyson looks so amazing. He looks... I can't believe... Apparently, like, Mike... Uh, um, like, apparently Mike Tyson's been going through this, like modern sports science where you take this like testosterone hormone and use it to I don't know anything about sports science so forgive me but apparently he's been doing hormone uh, therapy to replace like you know to repair his body and you know apparently you can reverse a clock by 10 even 15 years depending on your who you are with this kind of testosterone or, or hormone therapy that he's taking so what Tyson's 53 he's probably fighting like he's a 38 year old again you know what I mean like it's it's pretty incredible and Alan good to see you thank you for coming Alan says been a minute since I've watched your stream I saw Joe Rogan talk about it I'm doing pretty good Alan thank you very much for the 100 stars fill me in on what's going on I really really appreciate you Alan so what's happening man I hope you're keeping healthy and happy I hope the family's okay we're going to sing some Phil Collins. Man, it's never a bad time for Phil Collins. Yeah, man, it's just so like, uh, you know, I, you, you obviously remember when now, um, obviously when you remember Tyson having his last few fights, uh, he wasn't the same Tyson because he wasn't fighting with hunger. He was fighting to get himself out of debt and all that other stuff. But you, you could just see it in his eyes. Tyson's hungry again like he wants it. And I'm just like, damn. I don't know how much realistically he can do at 53, but I'm excited to see. It's kind of like Rocky 6 when Rocky comes back in his 50s as well. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> no, I got you, Alan. Yeah, all silver linings right now and everything, huh? I feel the same, man. I'm so fortunate I can work from home. Hey, you going, Steve? Hello, Governor. Good to see you. Thank you again for hanging out, man. Everyone, everyone's been saying we want to see a new Mike Tyson's punch out. Yeah, I'd love to just see them bring out a remake with uh, the yeah, and then just have some of the same fighters, but then add some new ones as well. We need like a crocodile hunter type fighter. We we haven't got an Aussie stereotype in in, in punch out yet. Now is the time, I think. 
<laughs> there we go, we're sort of making some slow headway here. Hey, we just got raided by the Global Stream Machine. Big shout out to Perry. And big shout out to Clarissa. Man, I haven't seen you for a little while, Clarissa. I hope you're doing all right. Big thank you for coming in. How are you guys all doing today? Do you think I should, we should just have a kangaroo in the game? Maybe. Levente, how you going? I'm one coin. How are you? You're a martial artist. If so, what style do you learn? I, I, I learned the art of Sambishery, and it's a very sacred art. Uh, it takes a lot of discipline to practice. Uh, the good news is you don't need to be physically fit to do Sambishery. Uh, all you need to do is yell fuckities at your opponent, and they'll uh, bow to the knees in submission. It's a great art. It's a very ancient art. And uh, I'll be happy to teach you some Bishri one day. Uh, it's, you know, self-defense is important in 2020. And uh, I'm thinking of opening up a school. What do you, what do you guys think? <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the new Tony Hawk. Yeah, I did see the demo earlier for the new uh, PlayStation 5. It does look great. Just not even so much just the graphics, but the new lighting and everything. Like, it's... Oh, gosh. I, I didn't think next gen would would look so different to this gen, but already you can see some major, major like rendering differences, can't you? Like it's exciting. Yeah, no, we raid Eric. Eric's Eric's good people. We 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 appreciate Eric. He's a great streamer and he's been a great friend to the page. So, yeah, we we raid um. A lot of awesome people like Eric Busby here, our friends at the Global Stream Machine. We just we just like to find positive pages for you guys to follow and enjoy. It's what we're all about. Nicky Ricky could teach you, but you la 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 la. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, really? What's over my arm? That PS5 demo was pretty special, wasn't it? It really was. Oh, goodness. You're a funny man. You're American. No, I'm Australian, my friend. You have a, an accent like a little Australian like Hugh Jackman. Yeah, bro. Didn't you know Hugh Jackman's actually my cousin? A lot, You know, it's funny because a lot of people say, you sound just like Hugh Ca Jackman. It's like, I'm funny you should say that because he's actually my cousin. Well, technically he's my second cousin, but he's, he's, he's still my cousin. Uh, he, I, I've had a beer with him about three times in my life. He's a great guy. And, um, yeah. Well, by the way, Keith Urban is, is also a very, very distant relative. Technically, we're not related, but, you know, it's close enough, you know what I mean? I've, I've met Keith Urban before, too. We like to keep it pretty close together here in Australia, you see? We, we keep in packs here in Australia because we got dingoes in our country that eat children. It, it's a serious problem in our country, so we hang around in packs. Um, yeah, I don't like to talk about it too much. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Then. Nick, thank you for the 100 stars, man. I really appreciate you. Nick, this is going out to you. No, not seriously. <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. I talk way too much shit. Okay, I deserve an uppercut. Boom. There you go. I'm sorry, everybody. The Wolverine. No, the Wolverine's not my cousin. I'm sorry, guys. I, 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 I find it funny because people believe me because people think Australia is such a small place where everyone's all related. We have 24 fucking million people in this country. I haven't met fucking Hugh Jackman, okay? Sorry to disappoint you guys, but I don't know him. <laughs> uh, one says Ricky needs a Snickers, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> It's, not, oh, it's never a bad time to do the Mario, my friend. Oh, goodness. I don't know if I know any famous Australians. Like, obviously, being a DJ, I've met a, a fair few famous people. Most of them were not Australian, though. Um, like, I, I met the Stafford brothers a few times and hung out with them, which was a pretty big deal back in the day, but not now. Um, who else have I met? I don't know. Not really met a lot of Aussie celebrities. Believe it or not. But, uh, you know, as I said, mainly rappers and DJs and everything from overseas. <clears throat> so Matt says, my, no, my, my sister's not famous. You know, look, let's be honest. My, my sister's incredibly talented. 
and she will be famous, but you know, reality TV's like... My, my sister's a very, very smart Pluton woman. We all know that reality TV's 15 minutes of fame. And, you know, she's just trying to leverage that for as long as she can, because she's an entrepreneur. Like sister, like brother. Oh, crap. <laughs> so Ryan says, you know a celebrity? Who's that? <clears throat> and, uh, Merrick and Eric was playing Mega Man 3. Oh, gosh. Eric, um... Man, I can't play those Mega Man X games. I find it really weird, guys, because I'm pretty solid at regular Mega Man games, but Mega Man X games? That's, that's just, uh, a, a completely different thing altogether. Hey, guys, like a completely different thing. And uh, I don't know where to go here, guys. Where do you go, my sumbish? Na 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 na. Right, I think we're going the right way, guys. Bear with me. The one in X... What's that? We well, you know oh, the one in... Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, but he's... I mean... Yeah, da da Daniel DeVoe. Well, yeah, I, he... I guess he's pretty famous. I mean, I don't know him very well, but I do know him. Like, you know, we'd, we've had a chat before and stuff. I, would, I wouldn't go... You know, we're friendly acquaintances. We've never really been friends or anything. I do support him, though, because, you know, Queenslander. <laughs> Yeah, Daniel Vito. I don't know, it's just, as I said, I never, I mean, he's technically a celebrity, because even before he, uh, he was like a, a football player before he, um, joined NXT, so he was like, I wouldn't say, go as far as to say he was a massively famous football player, but most people knew who he was. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, my, my, my dad, uh, my, my dad's for most of his life works for himself and then you know my sister's always had a job but always tried to her hand at side hustles you know as a hobby and I've always kind of been the same it's only been the last couple of years I've gone all in um, hang on one second guys just trying to beat this some bitch Jackie thank you for coming in Jackie's just dropped a big 100 stars Jackie this is going out to you my friend thank you so much we got Manya here, One Meowdy Do. One shall fall. We got Manya's Gaming Fest in here. We got the Global Stream Machine. Good to see you guys. You'll have to forgive me, guys. A little bit sleepy today, but I'm fighting through it. As, as I said, I love doing these like uh, morning streams for you guys. They're so chilled, but they're also a challenge because I always come on at my bedtime. But. Uh, you guys are always a big help in that department because these are a lot more chilled out than the the daytime. So they've been getting really hectic lately, haven't they? Holy shit. I'm starting to panic, guys. Like, the one thing we take pride on here at one point only is being a social stream. And I'm worried I'm not going to be able to catch all you guys soon. <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, it's funny. My my dad my dad supports me now very very much. I I I feel like I have to give full credit to my dad because you know my dad's in his 60s and while he doesn't totally understand the video ga gaming industry like he's he's pretty switched on dad you know what I mean so he can he can he knows a good thing when he sees it so I've got dad's support now but back when I was in high school dad was uh, more about you know go to school get a job all that kind of stuff and. Uh, I kind of find that surprising, actually, because um, maybe I was just lazy and a bum when I was in school, but, you know, being the entrepreneur that Dad was, I'm surprised he kind of sort of had that mindset when I was a kid. Definitely different now. And, uh, yeah, man, man, you said you better get some good rest, Rick. You get your rate. I did. Thank you so much, girl. Oh, gosh. Damn it, I just got screwed. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you for everything you do, man. I really appreciate you, huh? TV's Patrick Duffy. Yeah, every everyone says, oh, you know, dad, dad quite often lurks. You know, dad, dad probably only talks about 10% of the time he watches, so he's half the time he's probably watching what's going on and shaking his head, and he's like, he's not my son. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>
He's not my son. And then all of a sudden, I'll get like uh, five million star donations. He'll be like, oh, hang on, he is my son. No, I'm just kidding. That's terrible. <laughs> I'll shut up now. <clears throat> just like the TV shows. He's not my son. Wait, he is my son. <laughs> I'm going to go back off on yard. There we go. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, me, man, you said just getting up and around me out of... Oh! But it's good, man. I mean, I was just working on my little side hustle for a bit. Uh, one thing that's really been coming me down is I've now made a playlist in Apple Music of all my favourite chilled out songs. So I try to listen to them for at least an hour a day. It puts me in a really good mood. I was doing a little bit of work behind the scenes. Uh, grinded... Fuck a D! I grinded Diablo for about an hour uh, before I came on. Just... Oh my... Dude, I can't handle this. I'm about to scream out so many fucks. One coin only is going to turn into 50 shades of fucks if you're not careful. Oh my goodness. 50 shades of fuckity starring one coin. Okay, there we go. I'm out of there. Jeez, I was really starting to piss me off. Oh, we got our full health back. <laughs> Oh gosh, alright, calm down Rick, calm down. Actually, don't ever tell me to calm down. Alright, I think this is the boss. I don't have any, I don't have any special weapons though, so this can be a problem. Hey, go on there Steve, good to see you, thank you for coming in. I hope you're doing well Steve. Thank you for hanging out. Man, I love the music, like, you know, I listen to all music. I listen to rock, I listen to dance. I listen to R&B, I listen to hip-hop, I listen to slow jams, I listen to Latin, I just love all sorts of music. I'm very, very weird. Most people are very, very, like, one genre orientated with their music, but I like so many different genres of music. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll listen to, like, rock one day, and then the next, next day I'll have some mumba on or something, and people are like, what the hell, Rick? Like, you know, people think I'm very weird. Okay, we're going to go back over here. <laughs> you think I'm... You think so? Billy Jean Kit? Wow, I've never been called that before. <laughs> no, telling me to calm down is like telling your girlfriend to calm down when Art Flo comes to town for a visit. It, it's, it's, not, it's not advised. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Oh goodness, just trying to wait for this. Come on. Alright, we got him. <laughs> Sorry guys. Alright, we got this. Oh boy, what else is happening? Anyone else in here not said hello yet today? Guys, all we ask is you give us a big thumbs up if you haven't yet. And uh, we always appreciate you joining the stream. Don't forget we stream every single day at 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. Monday to Friday in the mornings as well, like we are right now. So, uh, we keep freaking busy here, mate. Keep freaking busy. We also do a late night usually most days too, so like we're on at 7 p.m., 10 p.m. and the graveyard. How you going there, John? I feel like it's been a minute since we've had a chat, man. I hope you're doing well. It's a little bit few and far between our chats these days, man. You keeping okay? Hope you hope you and the family are healthy and safe. That's what I mean. I mean, one day I can li listen to some like, yeah. It's just I'm just got such a a broad taste of music, huh? You know, I find a lot of people actually really judgmental of my music taste because I don't just like one genre. You know what I mean? I, as I said, I find it really strange. A lot of people pigeonhole themselves. And don't forget as well, guys, we are live on both Facebook and YouTube. Don't forget, you've got the link pinned uh, in the comments, guys. You can watch on the platform without choosing. Uh, I do ask if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube yet, you quickly click on the link and subscribe for us. It's important because if the stream's playing up on Facebook, it'll also be over on YouTube. 
and so you've got two options to watch the same stream, you know what I mean? So, it's in your best interest to also uh, subscribe to us on YouTube if you get the chance. Like in many genres is what music is all... I mean, that's what I think too, man. I, I feel like I'm very cultured, and I also feel like, you know, that it, it intimidates a lot of people too. How you going, Sandra? Good to see you. Thank you very much. Hope you're having a great day. Alright. Oh, we got like a mini boss just over this corner. We really need to get another one of those boomerangs, don't we? I like to think I'm a man of culture. I'm, 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 not, I'm not a closed-minded guy. I'm definitely... That's. I mean, you guys already know this yourselves. Yeah, good on you, Mick. Mick, yeah, see? I just find it funny, like, uh... Like, one day you'll be listening to metal, and the next day you'll be listening to something like... I don't know, Jack Johnson or something, or... Some kind of Latin slow jam or something, everyone will be like, what the fuck, Rick? It's like, this is my heart party, I'll listen to it, what I wow. <laughs> I kind of got sandwiched in here, that didn't really work out for us, did it? We're gonna have to try this again, it's alright. We'll get there. Oh my goodness. Man, this is, uh... As I said, sometimes when I play this ca Super Castlevania, I feel like it's a fight within myself, hey. Oh my gosh, these freaking leaves. Dude, don't you freaking even. Oh gosh. I do, I do what I want, it's my hat party. Uh, I do, I like Dracula X. It's not one of my favorite Castlevania games, Alan, but uh... We, we do play it on the channel, just not very often. I actually was going to play Dracula X for you guys pretty soon. And I still might. I just don't know when yet. But uh, be on the lookout for it. We'll do some Dracula X. I've never beaten it. Even with save states, I can only get up to the final level. Absolutely, Miko. It's always nice to have you in here, Brosef. Let me just uh, pause while I answer. No, oh, man, I'm glad you're still working, all things considered, brother. But I just, as I said, man, just like everyone else, I hope you're keeping healthy and and, and safe, my friend. That's what really matters, huh? Oh, we just go up there, safe here. Hey, hey man, does, man, man, just says you wish you could play these games. You're terrible at them. You just gotta use safe states like me. Don't forget, safe states save lives. Save state, save lives. And uh, you know what? I mean, that's that's my problem though. I've got no shame. Most people are like too proud to use save states. I don't care. <laughs> Joshy dropping the hundred stars. Thank you very much, Joshy. I really appreciate you. I'm gonna be right with you, my friend. Well, I think there's gonna be like a, a meat drop. Oh my gosh. Oh, fantastic. We, we needed that right now. Oh, there we go. Saving. Alright, cool. I'm, here we go. What are we going to give to Josh this time? Josh, this is for you! Oh, it, was, it wasn't on there? I didn't actually... I, you know what? There are big rumours, Alan, that Castlevania X... Uh, I mean, not Castlevania X. There are big rumours that there's going to be a Castlevania Collection 2, but the next one's going to have all the Metroidvania ones in it. You never know. You might you might get Castlevania X in the next one. You, you never know. I love the Mode 7 graphics in this level, huh? Let's, let's see where we can go here. And so, JK Software says, these games cheat, so there's nothing wrong with uh, Safe Saves. We got the other Joseph in here. Good to see you, Joe. Thank you. Fuck it, fuck, 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 fuck. We got the other Joe in here. Thank you for hanging out, man. You're not at school today, I'm guessing. 
or you're probably just getting up, getting ready for school. Uh, it's kind of a dissect, it's a neutered version of Rondo of Blood, I've heard. Yeah, definitely try them. They're definitely worth your time, especially if they're free, John. Why not? Monique says your favorite cheerleader. Parkity, I just got squashed. If you're cheerleading me, I'm not supposed to get squashed. You failed your first job as a cheerleader. That's a bit mean. I'm only kidding, Monique. How you doing today, lovely? I hope you're having a great day. Gosh, Rick's been a, a pretty harsh right now. Rick's not being very nice. Have you got any fel- I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Joseph. What the fuckity fuck is that? Hey, go on, hit monkey. Good to see you. Welcome. Monique says it's a really nice day in Florida right now. And speaking of Floridians, we got D Wayne in here, guys. Everyone say hello to Mr. Headblock Gaming. Good morning, D Wayne. How you doing, mate? Hope you're well. I hope you got that beauty sleep. What's going on today, D-Wayne? You're well rested, man. What do you got planned for everybody today? And then and there you go. One says safe state, save game controllers. Yeah, see, that's the way I look at it too, mate. Game, yeah, I am raging a little bit, yes. If it's a harmless rage, I won't kill anyone today, I promise. Oh, my goodness. You must be on Florida from- oh, wait, because she said it was a beautiful day in Florida. Okay, I see the inside joke there. <laughs> oh, come on, D-Wayne. I'm sure you don't dislike Florida that much. We might we might have to get D-Wayne back up to Detroit then. Go back over here. Oh, boy, all right. Just going to wait very patiently. Oh, hang on, no. Not that one. Next one. There we are. Come on. Come on, Simon, you dog. Alright, we got him. Jeez, this level's nuts, huh? This, this level's got a little bit of everything. Hey, go on there, Nate. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. As I said, this playthrough of Castlevania 4 today is a big quest against myself. I think so far I'm winning, actually, if I do say so myself. But we know what happens when Rick gets arrogant. That's when shit turns around really quickly. You know, you, you've always noticed this in the last three years. I'm like, you know what? I'm not playing this game that bad today. And then it goes fuckity two seconds later. All right, here we go. I think we got axes here, so we should be fine. Oh my goodness. Come on, you sumbish. Fuckity, get back off him, ya. Oh my goodness. Dude, no, don't you even. Oh my gosh, brah. Oh my goodness, come on, don't you freaking even. Bro, oh, that was close. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, so far so good. Konami, East of May Konami made good games. Did you guys, I never, never played... Metal Gear Survive before? Was it really that bad? Like, did it have, like, literally no redeeming features? What was so wrong with it? I've, uh, yeah, I, I never ever played Metal... Yeah. Yeah, good on... Man, that's, man, you got your life balance, eh? I know I should take my own advice sometimes, but, man, you've got to... You've got to get that rest. Sometimes things... Oh, my gosh, sometimes things just... Barkety... Sometimes things just work. Oh my gosh, stupid ass. Alright, oh, there we go. We're now sort of making some headway here. One says Florida is America's addict. Uh, addict. Addict? Or well, maybe it's addict as well, I don't know. No, one says Florida is America's addict. I, I don't know what that means. And I'm, I probably shouldn't have repeated that because my friends Monique and D Wayne will probably stab me. Hey, go on, Ethan. It's nice to see you. Thank you for hanging out. You Here we go. Keep going. Oh, gosh. You've made your boyfriend, Christian Og, really excited, and you too? Look at Nico. She's got a boyfriend. Hey, 
Hey, Amanda says, oh, did you really? I don't know, man. I don't, I, don't, I don't know the ins and outs. I'm just an innocent bystander here. You guys are all having your, your, your opinions on the country, and I'm just here doing, like, the little man. Just like this. I mean, what else What else am I supposed to do? I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I'm, oh, God, I did not want the knife! Did not want the knife, mate. Fuck it, it's okay. We'll get, we'll get another boom. Oh, man, I hate the knife. I didn't save. How you going there, Daniel? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Ethan's playing some Red Dead Redemption. I'd love to have the time to get back into that, huh? I'd really like to get back. Oh, gosh. We're going to get a... Really? Like, really, really? We're going we're gonna to play that game, are we? Oh, gosh. Get away from me, man. He's creeping like a stage 5 clinger. Oh, we're almost out of here. Oh. Oh, man, he's my pleasure, girl. No worries. For better or for worse, I'm just me, hey? I have my good days and bad days. I have my days where people find me funny, and, and I have my days where I'm so annoying people want to kill me. Just as long as I have more funny days than the other aforementioned days, I'm good. Oh, goodness. D. Wayne says Florida is the Australia of the US, if that makes sense. Oh my god, really? Oh, well, there you go. So does that mean Australia is US's attic as well? Hang on. Okay, I'm just going to do the little man shrug again. Little man shrug. Oh, barkety. Okay, we, we better get a move on here. <laughs> No, I got you, John. I yeah. Don't don't you hate it when you play those moral choice games and things don't go the way you planned? I feel you. I, I do love moral choice games, except when it goes wrong on me. Man, I tell you what. I feel like when I play The Walking Dead, you're just doomed because there's no correct answer in that game. I need to actually go and play um Detroit Become Human. I haven't done that one yet. Um. But yeah, I'd love to do Detroit Become Human in my own time one day. <laughs> the man shrug acted, I know. And then D D David says Florida is America's little guy, little guy, huh? That's a, that's a little bit condescending, isn't it? <laughs> I, I just, I feel a little, I feel a little bit of condescension there. And then one says the knife is only good in Ghosts and Goblins. Yes, I, I happen to agree with you on that one. The knife is funny. The knife is. I, I like the knife in some Castlevania games, but not this one. The knife is actually pretty good in, in Symphony of the Night. As an American, you don't even know what that means. Well, there you go. I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I like that little man. Remember when that little man was a big thing on Facebook? You want to play the game where I decide not to murder the guy that killed me? You got to take it. Oh, I remember that one. The one you played on your own page uh, a couple weeks ago, right? That Annette or Annabelle or what was it called again? I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, you ended up being locked up in an asylum. I have a feeling that's not how it was supposed to play out. <laughs> Unlucky, D. Wayne. Game over, mate. We got Alan over on YouTube this time. Good to see you there, Alan. Thank you for coming in. Not awake enough for a death match, so he's commenting over on. Uh, I don't think there's any other uh, Alans on Facebook right now, so you're quite fate. Oh my goodness, Hit Monkey shot shots fired. Hit Monkey says at least Florida is in New Jersey. Well, you're about to get nuded by my friend One here. I like the I like the whole. Well, it depends what Castlevania game, but uh, this one I think the cross and the axe are the most effective. In my opinion, what do I know? Oh, that sounds like a lot of maintenance. I just read your comment, uh, Manya, and that exhausted me. <laughs> that sounds like a lot to deal with. Keep fighting the good fight. Goodness. 
Oh, what is this? The holy water here? Okay, we got the holy water now. How far into this game are we? Probably about halfway almost. This level is freaking hard as balls, oh, huh? Oh, damn, I missed the axe. Oh, that's close. Come on, bitches. Get back off on ya. Bakari. Oh, dude. Like, really? I hate this section so much. This is probably one of my least favorite levels in the whole game. That's all right. We'll do this again. How you going, Clarissa? Once again, a big shout out to Clarissa and uh, Games by Gamers. Thank you very much for the raid today. I appreciate you guys tremendously. And so, D. Wayne says he's been to New Jersey. How far away is the old Jersey? That's, uh... That's, uh, yeah. Do whereabouts is old Jersey? One, maybe one can answer that question. Being a native. And then, good morning, LA Evans. Good to see you. Did I get some rest? No, but I'm gonna head to bed uh, as soon as this stream is done, my friend. This is going out to you, LA Evans. Thank you very, very, very much. I'm gonna be right with you guys. Thank you very much. Oh, I gotta go back to the old screen. My bad. Turn this down. Sorry, guys. All black screen. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Press the wrong button. There we go. Thank you so much, LA Evans. Keep firing, assholes. I did. So we do, we do have these. Oh my god, I hate these freaking little polter. How are you? Dude, piss the fuck off! Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I hate these dancing bitches! Did chicks don't want to dance with me in real life, so why do they want to dance with me now? Yeah, want to dance with somebody? No, you don't. You just want to kill me. Oh, go back off. I'm here. And so Zack says he hasn't been to Old Jersey either. <laughs> What's the name of the game where you're a ghost trying to serve, solve your own murder? That sounds like Ghost the Movie, actually. Um, wait, there was a... I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Monique says you feel like you're dancing already. That's a one. See, I'm trying to get you up doing some aerobics first thing in the morning. Hey, guys, if you want to eat things like Captain Crunch... And, and fruity pebbles for breakfast, then you have to sacrifice some time for a workout, my friends. That's what's up. You can't enjoy the finer things in life and not work out. Here I am being a total hypocrite. <laughs> Hello, Evans with another 100 stars. Man, your generosity knows no bounds today, brother. Thank you again. What are we going to give to you? This one. Thank I'm you, sir. TC. Stay out of trouble. If it wasn't for trouble, you'd be out of a job. <laughs> You're a riot, tough cat. Thank you again for everything you do, brother. They're all adding up very nicely for us, sir. I don't, I can't even remember what your favorite thank you screen is, actually, LA Evans. You're probably gonna have to tell me you send enough stars, brother. We're gonna, um... Oh man, you've heard of that game where you're the ghost trying to, yeah, I, that sounds really interesting. As I said, I like, I like, I like, uh, creepy things like that. So, uh, one says, people are forgetting Jersey's home to Digital Press, the best retro and new video game store in the world. Well, there you go. I'm off to Jersey, aren't I? Man, I'll come to Jersey and visit you for lunch if you take me to the Butter Bing. And it's uh, Stephen with 100 stars as well. Stephen, thank you so much, sir. This is going out to you. Thank you so much, Steve. Monique, thank you for the metaphoric stars. Much appreciated. And uh, we got uh, we got Ethan in here. What? Else? Sorry, Sean. So I've already said hello to Ethan. Hello again, Ethan. We got Sean in here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I want to go to the butter bean. Buy some video games and see some boobies. Wait, what? Did I just say that in the live stream? I did. Well, I can't take it back now. <laughs> And Jan says the butter beans only 15 minutes away from you. No joke. I'm only joking about that place, by the way. <laughs> I, I just really like Scarface. I uh, not Scarface. Sorry, the Sopranos. What the fuck am I talking about? I, I I I have a funny feeling that 
like when a, a tourist comes to New Jersey. I feel for you guys, because I know how it feels in Australia as well, like, you know, with Foster's beer and everything. But I have a funny feeling that every second question a tourist asks in New Jersey is about the Sopranos, right? Like, any native New Jersey people in here? If a tourist comes to New Jersey, is every second question about the Sopranos? I'm gonna guess that it is. Hey, go on there, Malcolm. It's good to see you today. Thank you for coming in. Oh, I think I've seen that floating around on uh, PSN. You're a Soprano one. Well, there you go, Monique. No, I'd love to come to Jersey anyway. If you like creepy games, wait till Scorn is released. Ah, you know, it sounds like you're a, you're a talented, uh, talented lady, my friend. Thank you, Corey. Absolutely, guys, don't forget, like, as much as I love stars, the best way to help the page is 100% for free, guys. Smash that like button whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. Sopranos or Snooki or the, oh, the Jersey Shore. You mean people are still talking about the Jersey Shore? Oh my gosh, Mike's situation. Does everyone in Jersey really do gym tan and laundry? <laughs> Does, does everyone... Yeah. Is, is like, Jim Tam laundry really a thing? <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, come on, Rick. We, we really need some health over here. I think there's, like, a health in this wall. Oh, there we go. We made it. One says, video games and boobs, nothing can be that except for maybe cornbread. Yep, yeah, I've had cornbread, and I can... can totally say that cornbread is the business. And, uh, and so Steve says, you know what? You're sick of people assuming Detroit is a shitty city when you tell them you're from Michigan. It's like they think Detroit's here. No, I gotcha. And 8-Bit Steve, uh, one of our good friends is from Detroit. And I mean, even 8-Bit Steve tells me Detroit gets a really, really bad rep. And he said it's only a small part of Detroit that's a problem. And the actual, uh, the rest of the city is actually kind of happening. So, uh, you know, uh... 8-Bit Steve, a good friend of ours, he's a big defender of Detroit as well. And he lives just outside of Detroit. I think he's like 30 minutes away in Michigan as well, I think. I love L I love LA Noir. I'm actually thinking of playing that again eventually, Hitmonkey. I I'm personally not uh, scared to go to Michigan. I've, I've never stereotyped that place. Certainly some other states have it a little bit tougher with the stereotypes, you know, like with Jerry Springer and Maury Povich and everything, but we'll just leave that there. Um, but yeah. <laughs> L.A. Evans with another 100 stars. L.A., thank you so much again, my friend. This is going out to you. Well, excuse me, princess. Well, excuse me, princess. Well, excuse me, princess. Thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate that once again. Yeah, I love L.A. Noir. It's, it's, it's definitely one of the most underrated games of last decade. Uh, along with a little game I call Sleeping Dogs. I think Sleeping Dogs was very much a missed hit as well, personally. Uh, anyone in here play? Man, Sleeping Dogs is the business too. I actually thought Sleeping Dogs, personally, was a better game than Grand Theft Auto 4. That's probably not going to be in a popular opinion, but... I think I prefer Sleeping Dogs over Grand Theft Auto 4. Change of mind. Is there, oh wait, there's like a one-up in one of these bricks, I think. Hang on, I'm just waiting for these people to come down. Oh, we got this. We gotta get a move on, guys, because the time's crack. Okay, we gotta get a real move on here. I think the boss is just over here. Uh, it, it's not real. it's like a semi-open world. L.A. Noir is really linear. L.A. Noir gives you the illusion of it being open world, but really it's pretty linear. And all you're pretty much doing in that game is driving around a location, solving crimes, in like a, a fictional 19, late 1940s uh, Los Angeles. And man, the city is it's actually really, really nice to look at. I love those old white picket fence homes in that game, actually. Oh! <laughs> 
Yeah, so so Hit Monkey says sleeping dogs is kind of like kung fu. Yeah, it was, but you know, in saying that, I mean, there was more weapon, it was more comp, it was more guns and everything than kung fu. Even though kung fu was a a big part of it, it was still, it was still in my. Dude, fuck! I oh my god. Oh my gosh, stop that! Fuck you, you dancing sluzzies! Uh, yes, I just called them sluzzies. What are you gonna do about it? Freaking little dancing freaking hose. Alright, there we go. Oh my gosh. Sorry, it was just really pissing me off. I need a drink of water now, guys. Marco dropping 100 stars. Marco came in while I just said sluzzies. Okay. This is going out to you, Marco. Thank you so much for the 100 stars. They're not even a real country anyway. Hey, don't worry about that, my friend. It's good to have you in here now. Don't feel terrible. As I said, guys, it doesn't matter if you're here every minute, every hour, every day, every month. As long as when you're in here, you have a good time. You guys don't owe me a single thing. So the fact that you come in, send stars, and like the stream, and even just hang out is a blessing. So don't forget, none of this is expected. My only issues with the Facebook platform are with sometimes with Facebook themselves. Nothing to do with the Sumbish army. Unless you're a needy prick. I'm going to be straight up. The only kind of people I can't handle in our community are really needy people that don't understand that I'm reading two chat boxes and playing a game. So, if, you know, they're the only kind of people uh, I have a problem with. And I tell them to go away. So, you know, that's, you know, apart from that, we're golden. Anyway, moving on. Kid Jackson says, hot diggity dog, the language prick. I know, bro, I can't help myself. What can I tell ya? Uh, where is, here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Kid Jackson. I really appreciate that. Man, you guys have really come through it. Man, I don't even know what to say apart from a big thank you, guys. You're incredible. There's rumors that it's still a possibility, but I don't know who'd get the rights to it, but they've been talking about that over and over for years, one. Yeah, no worries, Zach. You take care of yourself, man. Thank you again for hanging out. Thank you, Zach. I appreciate you, man. I try to be... But, you know, it's, you know... Try, try my best, man. Try my best. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> the Sleeping Dogs is a great Mafia story. But what I love about Sleeping Dogs is there's a lot of twists and turns in the game like a quarter to a third of the way through. Like, a lot of shit happens in that game pretty early on and it's just a big roller coaster. And a lot of, you know, when I, when I was actually really wowed by Sleeping Dogs. I'm not going to give anything away. But just when you think you know where the story's going to go, uh, the shit totally just hits... Oh, man, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Sorry for picking my nose, guys. As I said, it just gets itchy when I stream. All right, cool. We got the boomerang again. Cross, whatever you call it. I hope we get another Sleeping Dogs game. I don't know if it'd be a different story or the same protagonist. Hey, we got Timmy in here. Timmy also dropping the 100 stars. Timmy, thank you, my man. What can we give to Timmy today? Oh, you know what? This Timmy. And uh, what's going on, Carl? Is everything alright with you? Thank you for coming in, Carl. What's going on? Are you talking about me or something else? Have I played Stranglehold? I own a copy of Stranglehold, but I have not tried it yet. It's sitting in my PS3 collection uh, for a rainy day. You recommend Stranglehold, huh? Pretty good game. Oh my gosh, I totally just cheated through that area. How good was that? Man, I very, very rarely get through that area without taking a hit. That was... Well, I just totally fucking made up for it there, didn't I, fuckface? Alright, we're gonna go back over here. Oh my goodness. No, don't you freaking even think about it, Rick. All right, we're going to go back over here. Oh, Timmy says he's working today, but you're on a break now. I hope you're not overdoing it. fuck Excuse me. There we go. Now we're on here. Man, I'm just freaking being a sunbish right now. Here we go. Am, am I going to play Power Rangers again? Power Rangers is on our... 
I try to spread my games out enough as to so you don't find them too repetitive, you know what I mean? I think with all my favourite games, I think if we spread them out a month at a time, you guys don't overly get sick of them. So I like to do Power Rangers every four week every four to six weeks. And it's already probably been about three weeks since we last did Power Rangers, so we'll do it again soon. I'll do like a big marathon or something. Streaming is really, really tough, and uh, I think that's the only thing I hate about streaming as far as community goes. Um, as I said, 90, I'd say like 95 to 98% of the community is absolutely awesome. But, you know, like obviously you shouldn't fo focus on the negatives, but I have to be honest, that other 3% can be really, really, really draining and tiresome. You know, those people that come in... Oh, why didn't you read my comment? And all those all those people that have nothing positive to say. Oh, this sucks. It's a shit game. Why the fuck are you playing this for? Oh, you should play my game. What kind of streamer are you? You know, it's just like, ah, oh, fuck off. Wait, did I just say... Okay, sorry, guys. Okay, I'm a fan. I just dropped a C-bomb. Damn it, I just did it. I didn't mean to. Okay, I've, I've only dropped six C-bombs in the history of one coin, and three have been like this year, I think. Oh my goodness. Okay, just forget I said that, guys. Forget. We're gonna do the. We're gonna do the men. Men in black. Uh... Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> we call a Big Mac a Big Mac over here. All right, we're gonna go over here now. There you go. I've got my brain back into the game. They're so draining, Hitmonkey, those ones. And, like, you know, it's a shame because I shouldn't let them take the focus away from the awesome 95%. But, you know, humans are built for defense. Sometimes it's hard to not focus on that. Not this week, Daniel. I probably won't do Night Slash. Uh, not this week. I know I, know I was going to do Night Slashes for you, but I'll do it another day. Uh, not, not, not until next week, at least, anyway, my friend. But it, we will do night slashes. Don't worry. Yeah, we got. How you going, by the way, Nico? We, yeah, I love. I hate how they call it a quarter pounder of cheese because we're going to be real and honest with ourselves. It ain't. It ain't uh, a, a quarter of a pound. Like that's false advertising, right there. So, Monique says she actually loves doing the laundry. Well, there you go. If you love it so much, do mine then, chick. <laughs> I think I think you've got plenty of offers for laundry here. You should stay. If you love it that much, you should start your own business. Every day I'm hustling. When I go overseas, there's almost as many laundromats as there are massage parlors. Like for real. Yeah, if, if you want, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get into that story another time. No, the, to the topic did hit a little bit home. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to use that word, but sometimes it's just appropriate, isn't it, Oliver? Yeah, exactly. That's the best way to put it. Ew. I'm doing good, Nick, man. I'm just a little bit sleepy tonight, but every, you know what? Even, even though I'm a little bit tired today, I feel like this playthrough of Super Castlevania has actually gone better than when we played this the last time, which was, what, three, four weeks ago? So we're actually doing better today. And uh, we're going to smash this guy pretty easy with the, with the boomerang. Yeah, no, we're going we're gonna to finish him like it's nobody's business. What an easy boss. Yeah, that was that's all over Red Rover, my friend. No, that's okay, Clarissa. Get that sleep, pal. We'll see you next time. Thank you for hanging out. There's something called the Messy Burger in the UK. Half a pound with cheese, bacon, egg, and mushrooms. That sounds amazing. Whereabouts do you get that? Is that like at a mum and dad's burger place, or is that at a chain? go what level are we up to now we're about oh we're already an hour and 10 minutes in the streams have been going hella quick guys again a big thank you for joining us spec ops spec ops i don't even okay spec ops 
Doesn't really, like, just going by the name. Fuck it. Just going by the name, honestly, Hitmonkey, it doesn't really sound like anything I'm that interested in, to be honest. Doesn't, doesn't, I, I hear the name and I'm just like, eh, tactical, military, nah, not really my thing. I mean, you can maybe convince me to change my mind, but nah. Doesn't sound like my type of shtick. Oh, we got this. Oh, come on. So, you know, local kebab shot and that. Ah, oh, yeah, no, I mean, if there's one thing we know about in Australia, it's kebab shots. Am I right, Aussies? Am I right? Perry, tell my kind American friends here about kebab shops. Yeah, now, if you go into Fortitude Valley, there, there's like uh, more kebab shops and coffee shops in there, seriously. You, you, if, if you go for a big night out in the town in Fortitude Valley, uh, you're gonna get yourself a good kebab Or you're gonna get yourself a good pizza at the end of the night at least until your bowels explode the following morning You want your bestie but it sounds pretty good doesn't it? Go back over here There we go. Oh, dude fuck off. Oh Come on This game has just been a complete ass hat right fuck you you fuck. Okay, so sorry. <laughs> I hate this. Oh my gosh, I don't have the patience this morning. Alright. Oh my gosh. Okay, this I mean we are almost towards the end of the game. It is supposed to get frustrating at this point. Alright, keep going, Rick. Keep Dude, what the hell? I don't even know what's hitting me half the There we go. Come on, some bish. Here we go, Sambish. Here we go. Uh, uh. There we go. We got him. Hey, go on there, Reese Binah. Good to see you, man. Thank you for coming in. Hoping they'll be like, oh, here we go. Some health. Some precious health, boys and girls. There's a little beautiful little dirty kebab shop just down the road. Which one, Oliver? That's what I mean. There's probably about five or six of them. <laughs> There's five or six of them. The guy that I used to DJ for, near the, the near the casino, there's a Miss K's Burgers. Really nice food. The guy I used to DJ for actually started that chain. And, uh, know him very well. Mr. Matt Lee. And, uh, hey, how you going, Southern Bell? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. So, to ma Monique says, so to make this easier, try and go as quickly as you can. There you go. Monique just basically told one coin only to go... Leroy Jenkins! Aaron, thank you. Speaking of which, Aaron has just dropped a hundred stars. I'm gonna do that for you right now, man. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> oh my god, he just ran in. Oh my gosh. Aaron, thank you so much for the kind support. I appreciate you. How cool is that? Oh man. All right, no, no worries, one. Shake, that's all right. We still got shake to do, huh? All right, so we got like a little teacup of health left here, guys. We're gonna. Oh gosh, saving. So what's a kebab? So a kebab is basically like a pita bread. Uh, which has got like uh, shaved meat, uh, cheese, lettuce, tabbouleh, lettuce, tomato, onion, whatever you want to put in it. It's rolled up and it's put in a toaster and made crispy, and it comes out. And it's a it's a Turkish uh, it's a it's a Turkish slash Middle Eastern delicacy, and uh, very very popular snack here in Australia. As you can see, Australia is a very multicultural country, and some of the most popular foods over here are not even our own. Oh gosh. The Kebab Paradise makes a burger called the Venus Burger. It's one big beef patty and one grilled chicken patty with all the... Oh, that sounds interesting. Oh, damn it. Alright, there you go. We're gonna get through this again. This is really, really hard. 
It is, except gyros have got soft bread and I think kebabs are all crispy bread. I think the thing with the gyros or the euros or whatever you call it. Um, yeah, euros. You call it euros, don't you? Yeah. The difference is, like, it's thicker and it's like a soft bread. Whereas, like, the kebabs are like a thin pita bread which is toasted. So, that's, that's the difference between the two. But in South Oz, we call them... No, see, but they, I think they're completely different. Like, they're, they're, they're the same thing, essentially. Like, bread wrapped with fillings. But I think the Euros is thick and soft, isn't it? Could be wrong. There you go. I might be all over the place here. This is going out to you. Thank you once again, LA Evans. Really, really appreciate it, man. That's how... Look at you, man. You're dropping it like it's hot, man. You're getting that Snoop Dogg action going today. In shops, you pay with a euro. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not talking about that type of euros. <laughs> it's a similar sounding word, a little bit different. There we go, LA Evan Man, Barkity! Damn it, I'm really, really struggling today, guys. LA Evans Man, drop. Bark! I can't, Barkity, Bark! Oh my gosh. Alright, LA Evans, I'll be right with you, man. All my focus has just gone for a little. Okay, jeez. All right, what are we going to give to... Fuck! All right, LA Evans, this is for you! There you go, mate. A winner is you. Thank you so much again, brother. <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy. I can't believe how far back we just had to go. This is uh, pretty savage, actually. We have to go all the way back to the beginning of the level. I wish I just used a safe state now on my side. You like chicken savlaki? I think I think euros and savlaki are practically the same, aren't they? I mean, I've had both. I used to have. I've had some savlaki hut before, and I've had euros, and I, I, I personally couldn't tell the difference. But I, I don't know. Maybe I'm ignorant. Yeah, I think we're gonna get our full health back now. I'm glad you guys are having fun, man. I mean, I'm just as I said, I'm just talking a bunch of shit. <laughs> And, uh, no, see, that's a shish kebab. We, we see, we, kebab is what we call, and the, sh the ones on the stick, they're called shish kebabs over here. So they're the ones that have got, like, uh, capsicum or peppers, whatever you call it, meat and everything on them. Andrew also dropping a big hundred stars. Andrew, thank you for your support. Here's a little Tay Tay man. Man, thank you so much for your generosity once again, Andrew. I appreciate you. There's a little bit of a Tay Tay to start your day, huh? Man, I mean, everyone knows what Taylor Swift is like by now. How does she still manage to get so many boyfriends? But everyone knows by now that they're only she's only dating you so she can write a song about you. But she, she still manages to find boyfriends. Anyway, moving on. Go back on them, yeah, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Nate. I, I got I got one with Whitney Houston as well, uh, just because of that. Uh, I always love you song, just because it's just such a long note. <laughs> oh, we got. So Perry says any type of kebab is good. I I, I tend to agree with you, my friend. Almost there. Taylor Swift is the horse. Okay, I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. This is it. You love Kellogg's Frosted Flakes in the morning. Over here we call them Kellogg's Frosties. <laughs> and they have Tigger the Tiger on the box. At least they did when I was a kid. So, when I was a kid, they'd have the Fruit Loops Toucan on the box. And then they'd have like the, the Coco Pops Monkey. And then they'd have like these three little dudes on the rice bubbles box. And then they'd have like Tigger the Tiger, I think, on the Frosties box. Going back a bit. Oh, dude, I. How are we supposed to do now? There we go. 
Oh, we did it. Thank God. And we got a boomerang again. Good. Third time's a charm. I do like frosted flakes. They're so bad for you, though. And so, Greek Island Grill makes the best uh, Euros. Chicken shish kebab with some hot... Oh, gosh, yeah, man. I, I, I need some intercontinental food, huh? Like, I've just been eating super uh, supermarket food lately because of my Sharona. I need to get my culture back on. I need to get some Thai food into me. I need to get some Chinese food into me. I need to get some Mexican food into me. I need to get some Indian food into me. I need to get all the fucking food into me, mate. Anyway... The fruity pebbles. Yeah, we didn't. We don't do fruity pebbles here. We do the fruit loops, which are kind of like lifesaver rings. So this, uh, I think, basically the same kind of ish. We do cocoa pebbles here and cocoa pops. You know, we got the no-name brands and the official one. Oh my goodness! Come on, Rick. There we go. We made it. Oh goodness. One says Taylor is what you call an upper class tart. One of my exes used to say that. Oh, like uh, back in my early DJ games, you know, back when you in your early DJ games. But anyway, I'm not good. I, re I remember my girlfriend at the time was passed out in the DJ booth, and the club manager was in there. And he, and he's like, "You're right, mate." And then my ex said, "I'm a trash bag, but I do it with class." I didn't know that was actually a thing. One. <laughs> But, I mean, you've said it as well, so I, I guess it is. Back, oh, dude, okay. Oh, just waiting for... Alright, here we go, we're gonna run through. Oh my goodness, dude, stupid eyeball mother bitch. Oh, I, oh god, fuck it! Excuse me, I shouldn't say that word. How do I jump down like this? Okay, that's how you do it. Oh, I think I think we might have this on lock, guys. Man, this is a long, long level. Thank you for hanging with me, seriously. You guys are amazing. So Dustin says, hey Ricky, last day of joblessness for me, you go back to working a five day a week schedule. Man, you know what? It's something, Dustin. A big congratulations to you, sir. I'm, gl I'm glad you're back out there. I know it's, uh, it's a real blessing to have a job right now, man. So good for you, sir. I hope it all works out. I, I hope that takes some of the stress away, my man. Oh, that didn't really work out, did it? didn't really work out either. Alright, here we go. Come on. Come on, dog. Alright, we got it. Yeah, good on you, Dustin. It's absolutely big congratulations, sir. Oh, there you go. He's throwing holy water at me. There's nothing holy about Frankenstein, mate. Have you noticed some of the earlier level bosses are way harder than this guy? By way of Arkady. There we go. Hey, go on there, by the way, Jerry. Always nice to have you in here, Jerry. Big thank you as always for hanging out. We're going to try and make our goal for the stream 150 reactions, guys. So don't forget to smash that thumbs up, hey? And uh, we're kind of stunted for followers lately. I don't know what's going on. I think Facebook's done something with the system. We should have a lot of new awesome sumbishes in here to say hello to tomorrow with Combat of the Mortals, hopefully. Trying to make new friends here, guys. We'll grow the sumbish army, take over the world. Don't forget, that's our goal. Alright, I do not think we're too far away. Now, after this, after this game, guys, uh, we are going to play uh, Top Gear just for, just for a circuit. So just a, just a little quick round of Top Gear. Because I always finish this game under two hours. You know my little thing here, guys. I like to at least stream for two hours. So, um... Oh my gosh. Dude! Weak! It's so... I don't know. I don't... I mean, it's just so hard not to get hit by stuff in this game. 
It's it's tough. A as I said, like um, as I said, like, uh, and I'm not just talking about me, but Facebook makes a lot of money off the streamers on their platform. They make a lot of money off the streamers at their platform, and I really just wish that there was more of a duty of care. Like with their customer support and things like that. But nope, they're just laughing straight to the bank. Yes, I'm talking to you, Facebook. <laughs> it is what it is, though. So, I mean, it's their prerogative. They can do what they want in their platform. And, uh, but I love you guys. That's why I put up with it. And then, see, Jen, I mean, I have the same frustrations as Melanie Matt. Like, it doesn't matter what size you are, whether you're a me medium streamer, or a little streamer, or a large streamer. Uh, the problems are all the same for everybody. Yeah, you know, the colors are nice in this, right? It's a really nice hack. This is a color change hack. I, re I really feel, I really, I feel, I feel really sorry for Mel, actually. I don't know her. But uh, obviously we all know Melanie's passion is to play Tomb Raider. She loves Tomb Raider, she loves the lore of Lara Croft and everything. And uh, I remember when Melanie Mack was on the platform playing Fortnite, she was getting like a thousand people a stream. And as soon as she started playing uh, uh, Tomb Raider, Facebook didn't support her gift anymore and she was dropping down to like 50. And I'm just like, man, you know what? I I'm sorry, but if you have like over a million followers, uh, on your platform, and only 50 people are watching your streams, then Facebook has failed her. So, you know what, to be honest, I don't blame her for leaving for, uh, one second, to be honest. I totally see it from her point of view. Um, that's a little streaming politics there. <laughs> is this a hack? No, no, this is a hack, yes. Yeah, it's just a colour change hack, that's the only difference with it. What happened? Oh wait, I accidentally pressed pause, my bad. Going back over here. <clears throat> oh, back one more time. Don't mind me, guys. I'm going to get to the comments. Just trying to find a safe platform. There we go. Safe. There we go. Yeah, that's what I mean, Daniel. Like, it's not... Like, you know... Look, I, I feel so blessed. Because you guys have really changed our lives here. Like, the stars on one point have been amazing. But it's... At first and foremost, it's not been about the stars. It's about being creative. And, you know, being able to try new things and offer something different. And... Uh, I feel very suffocated when my creativity gets stifled because you have to play to the system, you know? Just a little frustration I'm having right now. Yeah, she's back on Twitch, JK Software. LA Evans dropping another. I'm just being deep and real with you guys. As I said, look, I have to be honest. There's a lot more good than bad, but you know, just a few concerns. She seems like a lovely girl, to be honest, man. Like, for real. L.A. Evans dropping 100 stars. Thank you once again, my friend. This is going out to you. How's the weather by me, Monique? Pretty warm for this time. Well, it's actually cool outside. But during the... Because it's night time. But during the day, it's pretty warm. Just a... You know, just a... Your typical... We're having that typical autumn weather at the moment. Thank you, Corey. I appreciate you, man. You think that's what it is, Dustin? That is what it is, hey. Maybe I can try and free up my schedule a little bit so I've also got a, both a Facebook and a Twitch stream going or something. Maybe I should look into Twitch as well. I'd, I'd never reduce anything that we've got going on Facebook now, so don't worry about that. Everything on Facebook would stay the same. But may, maybe I should jump back on there for another stream as well, for another option. I don't know. Something to think about. <clears throat> 
She gave uh, L.A. Evans. Okay, bro, you got it. Tree Fitty. You no tree fitty you goddamn hey, go in there, Alex. Good goddamn to see you. I gave him a dollar. She gave him a dollar. Thank you, you man. You sent well more than uh, Tree Fitty today, L.A. Evans. <laughs> Dude, I can't thank you enough, man. That's like a thousand stars alone in the stream, bro. Thank you very much. Ethan says it's time for a midnight snack. What, what are you having for a midnight snack, my friend? I've actually got some nuts next to me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're, we're doing probably, like, it's probably about 20, uh, it's probably about 22, 22 to 25 during the day, and probably about 14, 15 in the evenings at the moment. That's Celsius, not Fahrenheit, of course. You, you guys really need to hurry up and get in the metric system, I'm just saying. <laughs> guys I'm just in the zone here we really need to get a move on on this <laughs> all right thank you for listening to my little bitch by the way I feel, I feel like such a skirt when I open up about this stuff sometimes but thank you for listening but it's probably a sandwich what do you like to put on your sandwich I saw this YouTube video uh, I, I wish I, I took down where it was because I can't remember apparently there's this like famous dine-in deli somewhere in California where they make like these world famous pastrami sandwiches which are like so big they're like four pounds in weight or something so there's this p place in california that apparently makes these world famous pastrami sandwiches and i saw this video and i was just like oh my gosh they look like the most amazing thing on the planet does anyone know what this place is that i'm talking about oh my yeah if you count all the things that hurt you in this game, you'd have- well, yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh, okay, we need to go up this way instead, I think. That- that way was not the good way. You love pastrami on rye? That sounds really good. <clears throat> peanut butter- man, yeah, I've got- I've got a big jar of peanut butter in the house, I'll need to put that on, so I haven't had- yeah. Got him. I'll have to double check. But yeah, man, like there was this big video, like viral video about these sandwiches. Thank you, Hip Monkey. I appreciate you. But yeah, I'll, I'll look into it. Four pound pastrami challenge. Challenge. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, you know pastrami, cheese, all. Oh. oh man, that sounds amazing. Mel, hey, good to see you, Mel. Mel's just chilling with a Always nice to see you, Mel. Thank you for coming in. The thing is, like, um, I look, fa fa look, um, Facebook don't owe me. L l I'll just, I'll just make an example. Uh, I'll play a Resident Evil game. I'll have hundreds of people in here. Um, I'll have maybe like a thousand comments, two hundred and fifty likes. The stream's booming. You know what I mean? I might play something like this, for example, and we still got 50 awesome sumbishes, but we're still getting a thousand comments, we're still getting a bunch of likes, which means the people still want to watch this stuff, but we're just not being broadcasted to other people because it, whether the algorithm or Facebook themselves, I assume people don't want to watch this content. But everyone that's here hanging out now and engaging with the stream is is proving that to be otherwise, you know what I mean? I think that's why it doesn't make sense. So we, we just gonna make our voices heard, guys. That's why I said the best way to help us out is by liking the stream, sharing the stream, making sure you're getting involved in the chat, and then you know we can we can change the course of history. <laughs> there you go. I say I sound like some kind of war leader right now. Yes, I am actually going to be doing a, a, a quick speed run of what I'm going to do tomorrow. 
is I'm going to do Resident Evil 1 and 3 in the Umbrella Chronicles engine, which will take about two hours. And then we're going to be doing Dead Space on the Wii as well. So we're doing a double horror stream tomorrow. Or well, I mean later today, I mean after Combat of the Mortals. got this. Come on, Rick Dog. I don't have any... I think the next level's the last level, isn't it? I think it is. Oh, no, we still got the mummies to take on. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh, this is crazy hard. Dude, what are you... Come on, Rick Dog. Here we go, Rick Dog. Here we go. Right, we got him. Dude! Jeez! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was nuts. Okay, two more levels left, guys. We're almost there. And, uh, LA Evans says, E stars are for great things you and D-Wayne do on one coin. Man, I can't even thank you enough for the support, bro. That's a lot of stars this stream, sir. You know, it might be time to... I might leave it to Will I Am here. Wait, not Will I Am, Will Smith. What the hell am I talking about? I'm getting my wills confused. And they look nothing alike. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you again, LA Evans. Of course I'm not going to forget about Commodore. Don't forget. The only reason Commodore sometimes gets lost in the shuffle is because unfortunately we only got him on one day a week at the moment. But I haven't forgotten Commodore at all. It's still my goal to get Commodore on the channel full time too. I'd love to have Commo here five days a week. But... Combo works a full-time job, so it's I, I need I need to scrape the money together to afford it first. You know what I mean? Especially if I'm going to pull him out of a secure job. Kid Jackson, you man, you love that shit, don't you, bro? <laughs> Kid Jackson, thank you again, hot diggity dog, sir. Thank you very much again, brother. Man, that hundred star donation tickled my balls, Kid Jackson. I appreciate it. Tickles my balls. All right, let's do this. Oh, Payron, thank you again. Payron with 100 stars. Here's some stars for an Emilio. For your boy, Emilio. All right, no worries, man. Here we go. And I was all like, Emilio! Payron, man, thank you again for the 100 stars, man. Much appreciated. Is it really that much different, Dustin? That's, wow. Yeah, they're going to have to do something about that. Thank you, Payron. And Kid Jackson as well. Oh, um. Hipmonkey says it's hard to forget Cobo. He tried, man. No, you know what? You can tell Pomo that when he gets in here and you can have like a fight. <laughs> hey, Gon Reed. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Welcome to the stream, sir. Thank you for hanging out. Alex says you should play the Seeger in NES Castlevanias more often. I think I think Bloodlines is definitely one of the most underrated Castlevanias in the franchise. It's definitely not the best Castlevania, but it's a really, really good effort and the only effort on Seeger and definitely worth a playthrough. And L LA Evans says the South Park screens are your favourite. Alright, it's my heart, buddy. I did it. Wow. There you go. This is for you then. Yeah. Digitally put Jabba the Hutt back into the original Star Wars movie. I'll do what I want. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, LA Evans, I'll keep that in mind, my man. Thank you for telling me. Duly noted. No, I, I think everyone knows Hit Monkey. You're quite safe, my friend. I'm, I'm just trying to start trouble, bro. Probably because I'm bored with my life. I don't know. That's, that's what people who are bored with their life do. They start drama. If they had things to do, they wouldn't start drama. That's the truth. Blood, blood, blood lines is pretty tough, man. I'm going back through here. Do, do I remember the game called Streets of Rage? We always play Streets of Rage on the channel. Um, for the very, very first time, not this weekend, 
uh, but next weekend I'm going to play all four Streets of Rage together in order because I really, really want to get like all four games together on YouTube. I think that'd be really neat. And, uh, but yeah, if not next weekend, maybe the weekend after. Give me an excuse to play Streets of Rage 4 again because I've been missing it. I I've still got to unlock a couple characters too. I, I haven't got all of them yet. <laughs> it's my heart party, I do wow wow. Man, man. I, I used to watch those episodes. I'm 13 and out of control. Oh my goodness. I, I mean, I, I hate to be cynical. Do you think any of that was staged? Because you know how they'd like, those girls would always get sent to boot camp or to prison. And then a week later, they'd come back and hug their mum and they'd be like, I've changed. I'm sorry, Maury. Thank you for everything. And I'm like, oh shit. This was all staged, wasn't it? And you remember when you used to have that, like, life coach come out? Come out, and he'd, like, go drill sergeant and all these kids? You, you remember that? Like, Maury had, like, his... Like, this life coach that would always come out? And start yelling at the kids, You ain't tough, you ain't shit, you know, that, that, yeah, that guy? What was his name again? Man, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's your half gaming stream, you do it, wow, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, no worries, it, monkey. Thank you. <clears throat> there we go. We're on here safely. All right, no worries. We can do this. Gosh. Well, there we go. We made it. Oh no, we don't want that. Don't mind me guys, just focusing here for a little minute. Good morning Nick, thank you for coming in, appreciate you watching. Oh, I'm so excited guys, after this it's the last level. This, this boss can be a little bit tricky. Oh dude, how the fuck did that happen? Actually don't answer that question guys, it was rhetorical. We got him. We got the. Uh. So you said I'm the captain now, Rick? You're the captain now. <laughs> Look at me, I'm the captain now. Yeah, I'm the captain of this sunbish. You bet D Wayne says the same thing. It's my Mortal Kombat game. I do what I want. Yeah, you know what, man? You know he's such a humble guy, but it must it must piss him off on the inside when people try to tell him play Mortal Kombat, and D Wayne would probably be thinking, "Yes, I'm best. You might want to shut up. I think I know what I'm doing here." You know, back. I mean, I just I know from based on myself, like how annoying backseat gaming can get. Some backseat. I like encourage backseat gaming, but there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. I think, just like anything in life. You know, I've, I've, got, I've, got, I've got to swallow my pride and take help sometimes. Here we go, we made it. <clears throat> so, alright, what are we going to do now? Oh, crap, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Oh, here we go. There we go, got a few hits on that in the first round. Do we sell it? We have our own sort of similar thing to Memorial Day. We don't have the actual Memorial Day, but what we have on Australia is Anzac Day, which is uh, a day where Australians and New Zealanders, like, um, celebrate the soldiers and big marches and everything and then we have remembrance day which is kind of like a memorial day which is november 11th we we call it uh, remembrance day here 
So Anzac Day is on the 25th of April and Remembrance Day is on November the 11th. And so, like, Anzac Day is kind of both a mixture of, like, remembering and celebrating. Like, you want to celebrate your troops and, you know, say thank you and everything. So, for the most part, Anzac Day is a happy day. But then Remembrance Day is, is more about the, the, the mourning and the appreciation of the soldiers we lost, you know. So, that's, that's kind of how we do it here. That's what she said. Marco, man, you know, you keep at it, bro. This is a hard game. Like, I mean, I've been playing this for years and I still struggle, sir. What else, guys? Anything else happening today? You're still pretty early, guys. What's everyone got planned if you've just come in and you haven't answered yet? Oh, we're just gonna go back off them here. Maybe we should just jump around. Just like House of Pain. It works for them. It can work for me, too. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Alright. Oh, you were born on a Memorial Day. Gotcha. That, that, that must be a hard day to have a birthday, but you know, I'm sure your family knows how to s separate, yeah. I, I can imagine having a birthday and Memorial Day to be a little bit tricky, for sure. I mean, it's not your fault, you're allowed to celebrate your birthday still. It is a, yeah, can't, yeah exactly. There's actually three Castlevania ones, actually, guys. Um, so, Castlevania 1, and then Super Castlevania is also Castlevania 1. And a game called Castlevania Chronicles, which you could play on PS1, is also a reimagining of Castlevania 1. So, there's actually three Castlevania 1s. And if you count the Japanese game, Haunted Castle, that's technically a, it's a similar kind of thing too. Oh, good on you, Daniel. Sorry I keep picking my nose, guys. It's just itchy. I don't have any shame. We're all family here. <laughs> well, good back, Jerry. You need to pick up Bloodstained again. I heard the new Zangetsu DLCs come out. I need to remember to go into that. Yeah, I'm going to re-download that game after the stream, if I remember, and, and, and check out the new DLC. So, yeah, apparently Zangetsu's now a playable character. Damn it, I didn't mean to get that boomerang. Fuckity. Uh, dude, did I really just screw that up? Well, now I have to start this again. That was pretty stupid, wasn't it? Alright, let's go. This stream needs more cowbell, you think? Don't... I'm not a 49er. What are you, I'm definitely no 49er, thank you very much. I know exactly what a 49er is. I ain't no 49er, thank you very much. <laughs> Jeez, man, that's probably the nastiest thing you can say to me. You think I'm only a 4? I'm a 9, mate. That, hence why I'm called a 49er. <laughs> oh, gosh, almost. I think this is the last level, but we got to like do like uh, four bosses in this level. It's pretty epic. Alright, so far so good. Alright, we've just got these little... Platformy things of them, yeah. So we got this. Oh, there you go. Look at that. I just did the moonwalk up the stairs. Dun 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 dun. Annie, are you okay? I ain't. You, think, you know what? At Thirty plus years later, I don't think Annie's okay at all. To be honest, I, I think Annie's a lost cause. Uh, I, I actually disagree on that, Marco. I found the PS PlayStation version really tough. But, in saying that, Marco, I've played that one a lot less than I've played this one. And so it's probably an unfair comparison. Oh, thank you for asking, Krill, but I'm okay, thank you, man. Man, you're a good friend for looking out. Not that you can really uh, get me anything while you're in Russia, man, but, you know, the thought counts and everything. <laughs> Well, thank you, Hitmonkey. Hitmonkey says I'm a 4 out of 5. 
Well, it's better than being a fugly mullet, I guess. Nick says he took... Well, there you go. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> I hate this boss so much. The most annoying freaking boss in the freaking game. This guy can fuck off. I can't stand him. He just stabs me with his little pitchfork. Get fucked, asshole. No one asked you. Oh my goodness, we gotta kill him before I snap my controller and give up gaming forever. Screw this guy, I'm yum. Oh my goodness, alright, screw you. Alright, there we go. So we gotta save from here. This is where the game starts to get a bit nuts. He's gonna start stabby stabbing me with his little parkety. Damn it, don't you freaking stab me, dude. Don't you freaking stab me. Oh, yeah, he's gonna stab me. I told you not to stab me, you fucking deaf, mate. Don't you freaking stabby stab me. Yeah, stay away from ya. Stay away from ya. Oh, now what does he do? He's gonna stabby stab me again. Fuck off, mate. I'm done with you, mate. I'm done with you. Dude, do I have to hit him again? No way. Oh my gosh, he kind of trolled me with that final hit, didn't he? Please, I will afterwards, Pablo. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. You're nice, man. Thank you. I think personality counts for a lot as well. Absolutely. I mean, personality is important. I mean, let's not lie to ourselves, guys. You know, we, you know, we're attracted to things that are nice to look at. But obviously, the older I'm get, you know, you do learn that looks fade, absolutely, and, uh... Man, you, you, you don't want to be with someone that's a headache just because they're cute, male or female, you know what I mean? So, I, I do agree with you somewhat, but I don't want to feel ashamed for liking someone because they're cute as well, like, we're all human. Here we go, yeah, I should start singing the Here We Go song again, huh? <laughs> here we go, here we go, yeah, we'll still sing that again later. Oh my gosh, come on you sunbish. I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to get this guy, come on Rickdoll. I feel like this whip ain't really doing too much damage. Oh, here we go, now what? Alright, so okay, this, this form's actually easier. Yeah man, you're just gonna stay in the ledges for this form. Yeah, that's, that's really straightforward. Back and front, forward, back and forward. Yeah, that's easy. That's all you have to do. Oh, man, this is a really easy one. Oh, dude, well, I kind of got overzealous there, but that's cool. Oh, dude, well, I just screwed, totally screwed that up. Oh, I knew I was going to have to get another hit in here. All right, got him. That's it. Hey, we got Mr. G, the Retro Runner in here. Good to see you, Gil. Thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate you. I hope you're having a great day. Oh. No, I got you, Jeremy. It's not for everyone. I just, you know, I just like to put this one on for something different sometimes. No, it's it. We're just doing a quick round of Top Gear, Pablo. Pablo, you got to ease up a little bit, my friend. It's my stream and it's my hat party. I do what I want. Gil, I'm doing pretty good, thank you, man. No complaints here, sir. I ain't had to die on purpose and get my health back, so let me just take the hit. Next time I play this, guys, I'll play the original, and you can tell me which one you like the best. Thank you, Raul. I appreciate you coming in today. And we got Ruthie. Good to see you, girl. Thank you again for hanging out. Alright, so we've got our big long shtick here. Corey also with the metaphoric stars. Much appreciated, man. Also, I'm just going to save here very quickly. There we are. Oh, shit, man. I didn't... I just didn't... we got to get lucky early for him doing this little thing here. Oh, there we go. Come on. Man, we're going to get a lot of good hits here. Oh, man. We're, gonna, we're getting so lucky on this run. Very, very lucky. Dude, we can do this. 
Oh boy. Jump. Oh crap, that was close. Boom, we got him. I usually take five or six tries to get that sunbish, but we got him. Fuck you, death. <laughs> Hey, Mr. G says you've been busy. Oh, that explains why I haven't seen you in a little minute, man. I hope you've got some kind of normality coming back into your life now. So how's the move going? Pablo, dude, I'm not... Look, Pablo, I know people ask me to do the 24-hour marathon all the time. I'm not a robot, man. Like, I know some of you guys don't care if I kill myself on camera. But I remember the last time I did a 24-hour marathon... It was you, Pablo. Last time I did a 24-hour marathon, I finished my 24-hour marathon at 7 p.m. And then Pablo was like, oh, Rick, are you coming back on at 10 p.m.? You do realize I'm not a Johnny Five, right? I'm a human being, sir. I, I, I don't run off oil and water, sir. Unfortunately, I've got organs that need rest and to repair themselves. My gosh. All right, we're going to go back over here. All right, we got this. How you going, April? Nice to see you. Thank you for coming in. Oh, boy, man. <laughs> well, that didn't really work out, did it? Alright, here we go. So now we just got to take on... Where, where am I supposed to go here? I'm so... Okay, like this. Oh, I get it. Oh, there was a staircase. Yeah, as I said, I'll do the 24-hour marathons when I can. But I'm worried the next time... I've been working so hard lately, guys. If I do one now... I'll probably need a week off the stream to recover. There was you, Pablo. <laughs> hey, go on. Corey says 12 hours. See, 12 hours I can handle just fine. 12 hours is not unreasonable. Sorry guys, just gonna focus here very quickly. Okay, give me one second. Oh dude, why dude? Like the Alright, here we go. Let's just get warmed up here. There we go, there's that. Alright, there we go. That's one hit. Cool. I'm really, really bad here. I totally have to cheat in this boss. I'll figure out the easy way to get him eventually. Alright, cool, there's that. Uh, no, Pablo, I appreciate it. It's just, man, it's just... I'm just, yeah. Nidraki is a bit of a sunbish today, isn't he? When you come back tonight, you're gonna be Bo Ray Cho? Isn't he? Isn't he? Wait, hang on, yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go, we just got our health back. That's awesome. Oh, goodness. Oh, we gotta do these sunbishes again now. That's gonna be a good time, isn't it? Oh, damn it. Alright, come on. Oh, I love that. Alright, great. Come on, Rick Dog, you can do this. Oh, damn it. I hate this section probably the oh, damn. I hate this section probably the most. This bit really freaking annoys me. Oh, come on, Rick Dog. All right, there you go. I'm getting a little bit more. Oh gosh, I'm getting a little bit more skilled at this bit. Oh, dude, come on, Rick. Give me one second, guys. Just got my focus here. Come on, Rick Dog. Oh my goodness. Almost there. Come on, man, I hate this so much. This is the most annoying form ever. Dude! Oh, bro. Fuck it, E. Dude! Oh, come on, dude. You just see the problem is where Dracula spawns sometimes. It's freaking rough. Dude!
Can't drop it. Is he going to drop that health or what? There we go. Let's just do this again. Oh, well, that didn't work out, did it? All right, here we go. Come on, Rick Dog. Oh crap, that was close. Come on, Rick. Ah, son of a biscuit. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit, fucking asshole. There you go, Rick's just choking. Right, one more hit, guys. That's going to be it. A little bit messy, but all done. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> How you going, Adoni? Good to see you. Absolutely, Daniel. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Silver, Look for the silver linings in your life, my friend. All right, guys. We're going to play a really quick bonus game. As I said, we're just going to do a couple races in Top Gear. You know how much I love Top Gear, guys. One of my favorites. Just going to sneak it on. Yeah, hit the road, Drac. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Everybody, hit the road, Drac. Well, I do those every week anyway, Hitmonkey, usually on multiple days. You'd love to see me do Glords? I've streamed that before, Jason. We could probably put that on uh, as a filler one day, sure. I'd like to have a little bit of practice again. How you going, Bill Del Rio? Good to see you, sir. Thank you for coming in. All right, guys. Well, we're going to load up our bonus game. So this is only going to be about 10, 15 minutes, guys. Now, you all know how much I like Top Gear. Absolutely love Top Gear. You know that Horizon Chase Turbo game I play? It's a remake of games such as this. Alright, so we're just, gonna, we're just gonna do four quick races. Thank you for hanging around. I think D Wayne's gonna be on pretty soon. I think he's got something planned today. But uh, don't forget, before we're done, I'll uh, find another awesome stream for you guys. Alright, there we go. In enter our name. Our name is Bish. We use the old auto today. I'm feeling pretty lazy. Accelerate, break. No. All right, that's cool. cool. I like these controls. Always use the blue car. It just seems to be the most balanced. And here we go, my friends. I'm gonna race the whole USA circuit. I love the music in this too, man. How many of you guys grew up playing this game? I need to get this on a physical cartridge. There's, there's not many Super Nintendo games I actually want to own, but this is one of them. The music in this is boss. I'm the one on the top, by the way, if you're wondering. I, 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 re I, I rent this game out. Uh, you know, again, when Final Fight and Street Fighter wasn't available, I had to look for other rentals. And I rented this out as a kid, and I fell in love with it. And uh, when I first moved out of home, like even like 10 years after its release, my flatmate and I were playing this in competitions, like before Boys Nights Out. Like, uh, good memories of this with my, with my first ever flatmate. And, uh, yeah. This is a lot of nostalgia in this one for me. Probably more nostalgia in this game for me than almost any other game that I've played. You think I should play Super Opera at the bar? We've done that on uh, whatever Wednesday before. It's not bad. I prefer this game though. Sorry, Hit Monkey. Oh, we're going to have to start using our turbos on this one. We're going to try and sneak up on our first play for Markety. Dude, I got second. That's okay. You only need top five to pass. I'm pretty good with manual games, but... Uh, I don't like to play manual too much when I'm trying to concentrate on the stream. Like, you know, you, manual takes more focus, and I've got to talk to you, some bitches. <laughs> hey, go on there, Joshy. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Another couple races. So the first three races in this are really quick. 
And then the last race is like a long distance race which needs a pit stop, so it'll be a bit more interesting. But I, I have to sneak this game in when I can, because you guys know it's one of my favourites. Damn it, man. Too much traffic. Back off! Too much traffic. Yeah, see, my guy screams like me, geez. He just went, ah. He sounds just like one coin. Except he didn't put an F at the start. It's all working out here. Oh, close. Really close. Close a couple of those arrows there. Oh, my goodness. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. All right, how many laps have we got left? Two. Okay, I'm not going to fire. I'm not going to fire up these little nitros. You get three nitros a race. And, you know, obviously you can use them at strategic times and stuff. I'm going to get back to your comment in a second, Nick Dog. Alright, one more. Oh, hang on. Oh, get out of my way. Boo, bitch. Come on. Oh, dude. Alright, time, time to pop out a turbo, I think. No pro oh. Get out of the way, you pink sumbish. Alright, cool. We're going to use one more here, and then we'll use one more on the back. Oh, fuck. The back marker just fucking got me. What an ass hat. Dude, piss off. If you see me come and move to the side. Asshole. Oh my goodness, this purple car's on fire today. It's alright, we got we got another oh We got we got another straight coming on the oh get out of the way, dude. Fuck, get out of the way. Boom, we're gonna fire it up now. You're gonna be sorry. Look at that go. Look at look look at me go. Oh shit balls. Don't you Oh he nearly oh dude that some bitch nearly fucking blocked me again. Oh my goodness, that was a crazy race, that one. Jeremy, Jeremy, you can head out, get some... No, no worries, Jeremy, you get that rest, hey? <laughs> you take care, brother. Thank you again for watching. You wish they'd make an arcade game with a real transmission, five speed and a clutch? I think there's a couple, but they've still got arcadey feel to it. This, this new arcade game I like to play, Midnight Tune 6, I think it has a five speed shifter. But I still think it's still pretty arcade compared to uh, what what you said. Yeah. Uh, this is Top Gear, Joey. And we've just got two races left before I head, head to bed. Uh, I've got a little bit of work to do before bed on my other little project. Gotta see what's going on and all that ish. Oh my goodness. Oh. But yeah, this is called Top Gear, my friends. And uh, I used to rent this out all the time as a kid. One of my most beloved games on Super Nintendo, which you probably all think I'm crazy, but you know, taste is subjective. Now, uh, the race after this, as I said, is the big one with the pit stop. So this is just a nice quick one here. I actually sat down on my Super Nintendo Mini and played through the whole game in two and a half hours last year. Like, I laid in bed and I played through the whole game in one sitting and it was just such an awesome childhood memory. <sighs> oh, that was close. Oh, how many laps have we got left? Damn it. Bruh, that's neck and neck right there, huh? Oh, that was a bit cheap, wasn't it? Alright, last... Oh my gosh, that was a... That was really cheap. Oh, okay, well, I've got one, I've got one more turbo left. Alright, in here we go. See you later. Oh, man, all these back markers are going to get in the way if I'm not careful, huh? Now, if you play in the higher difficulty levels, uh, not only are the cars more challenging, but there's more obstacles on the road and stuff, so there's more things you need to look out for. 
So, uh, I beat this game on the regular difficulty, then on the intermediate. Uh, never ever beaten this game on advanced. It's just much too hard. I feel like the computer cheats too much. One thing that also bothers me about this game is when you race in this game, you have to take a pit stop, but the computer uh, player uh, cars don't have to pit, and that's really annoying. Like, it's a double standard. Oh. Uh, I, I would recommend getting a racing simulator and just doing iRacing from home. I love iRacing. If I had time, I'd still be doing it. Corey, you want me to do some Need for Speed? Once I get my uh, new HDMI cable, because there's a better one that I've got for PlayStation 2, once I get it, once I get my new HDMI, um, give me one second. Sorry guys, I'm just... Yeah, once I get my new HDMI cable, um, I'll start doing the Need for Speeds on PlayStation. Dude, fuck it Yes, I will, alright? <laughs> trying to focus here, motherfucker. Sorry. I'm just getting so angry. I'm getting angry at everyone else because I'm losing. Like, it's your fault instead of mine. Alright, we got this. It's my fault. It's alright, guys. Oh, man, those, ro those roadwork signs on a racetrack. This must be an illegal street race. Alright, it's fine. Whatever. Oh, there you go, there's the, don't let us forget to pit. I'm not, I'm not going to use any of these speed boosts, I think, until after we've pitted. I'm going to strategically use all these at the end. I love the music in this game, how good is it? Maybe it's just me. Like, uh, a lot of the tunes in this game are remixed for the Turbo Chase Horizon game, which you've all probably played. Alright, I'm going I'm to pit in the next lap and just take a little teacup, I think. Yeah, I've got a physical copy of Need for Speed. I really want to do Need for Speed Underground for you guys one day. And I'd really like to do Most Wanted for you guys one day. And then maybe some Burnout games, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not collecting these PlayStation 2 games just for show, I'd really like to stream some of them. But uh, I, I think I can get a better resolution for you, so I might just wait till then. Damn it, I keep forgetting to pit. I have to definitely pit the next lap or I'm pretty screwed. That's fine, we'll get there. Gosh. Don't let me forget to pit next. Oh, I can't read the comments right now, so that's not going to work out. Right, here we go. So definitely going to pit. Pits are coming up towards the right in a sec. This sunbish is going to have to pit too. Here we go. Break you, sunbish. Oh, right, we got this. <laughs> Alright, there we are. That should be enough fuel, hopefully. Alright, so we got one lap after this, but we got all our boosts. I think if you use the juice, I think it takes more fuel, so it's something to keep in mind as well. Damn it. Being a composer for reviewed video games, I mean, it probably comes naturally for people, but even if it's natural for some people, it's still a hell of a lot of work. Some people are just really creative, but it still takes time and patience. I'm just using all these boosts now. Here, here we're going to win this one, actually. Damn it, no! Oh, my gosh. All right, one more juice. Here we go. Come on, Rick, don't screw up. Dude, don't you stay away from me, you pink asshole. Pink, get away from me, Mr. Pink Man. No! No! <laughs> oh, fucker. All right. <laughs> Where, where did we end up in the championship? Man, I think I came second. No, I did win. It was equal. We got to, we tied. Well, that's all right. We tied for the lead. That's all right. A win's a win. You think I should do some road classes one of these days, Joey? So you're saying that with caps, which means you're really serious this time. <laughs> 
All right, guys, it's time for me to go to bed. I'm just going to go back to the full screen. Thank you very, very much for joining us, guys. Again, we did some Castlevania and we did some Top Gear quickly as a bonus game. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Joanne, nice to see you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for all the stars, the likes and shares as always. Guys, don't forget to like on the way out. The bad news is the stream is over. Uh, but the good news is, guys, I'm going to be sending you uh, to another stream. So I'm about to queue up the outro. You have a lovely day, guys. I'll be back in the evening. And uh, hang around for the raid, guys. So, uh, yeah, guys, be good. Thank you again. I'll see you in a few hours. Take care, everyone.